Peace, everybody. This is Dynasty Mirror, Search for Uhuru, and I am back again. And let me give this disclaimer. This video is not, I guess, directed towards Black people who live in France, because I know we have a relatively large Black African diaspora in France. So this video is not directed towards them. This video, and the reason why I'm shooting this video is because, you know, I travel, I mean, I follow a lot of black travel pages. You know, I read the stories, look at the pictures, whatnot, comment. But one post really caught my attention, attention. And I had to I had to pose the question. Can you be pro black? But brag about your melanin popping in France. And the reason why I say that, because I remember the post was of a brother who was boarding a flight. Or was on a flight. And I believe the brother was in first class. And I believe a white lady asked or questioned, why are you in first class? Or are you supposed to be in first class? And immediately he said he started getting revolutionary and he turned pro-black. And he had to let her know that, you know, I'm a black man with a passport and I'm in first class. I bought my ticket. You know, I'm a black man. You know, I'm a black man with a passport. Black man, I can afford a first class ticket to Europe, to France. I'm a black man. They don't want to try this black man. I had to let that white woman know. I had to let her know. Don't try me. Because I'm a black man in first class. I can, I can afford a first class ticket. How dare you question this black man? This revolutionary pro black man. I'm black with a passport and I could travel first class. How dare you, white woman, question this pro black man? But you headed to France. And then when you get to France, here come the pictures, pro-black, melanin popping on the French Riviera. Melanin popping, ivory, uh, the Eiffel Tower. Melanin popping, the streets of Paris, melanin popping. And I'm like, if you're that pro-black, if you're that revolutionary, why not fly first class to Africa? I just don't get it. So can you be pro-black and brag about your melanin popping in France over anywhere in Africa? And I'm starting to notice a lot of pro-blacks and how dare you uh, uh, support Starbucks because of the brothers who were uh, were discriminated against. How dare you go to the Starbucks around the corner from you and get a latte because of the the, the discrimination that the the young brothers faced in that Starbucks? How dare you go to that Starbucks? Boycott that Starbucks. Boycott the Waffle House. Boycott Black Friday. How dare you buy anything on Black Friday? This group will get mad at you, will post, we are boycotting Starbucks, Black Friday, and Waffle House because of discrimination. Even though it's around the corner and it's convenient, we are going to boycott. But they will go out of their way to go to a place like Greece. Let's talk about Greece. I'm guessing everybody's forgot about Bakari Henderson, if you really care. So Bakari Henderson, the brother who was killed last year, 
his killers are off, got off on bail. And I want to say the bail was like $500 and were allowed to re return back to their country. So they're not going to get any justice. I mean, but the Henderson family is not going to get any justice. But black people will still go out of their way and ignore what happened. And still go to Greece, but want you to boycott the Starbucks around the corner from you. Want you to boycott the Waffle House around the corner from you, but they will still go to Greece. Go out of their way. Spend thousands on thousands of dollars, plan, travel agent situation, get all they their girls together. Hop on that flight and still go to Greece and have every excuse. Or why they still want to go to Greece. But if you go to get a coffee around the corner at Starbucks, damn it, you're a coon. But Negroes will go out of their way to go to Greece. I'm going to tell you why I will, I'm boycotting. I, I, I'm going to tell you why you should boycott traveling to Greece if you're black over damn Starbucks. This brother gets killed in Greece. Okay. Where's the U.S. government? You know damn well if someone white would have got killed in Greece, they would have sent in the CIA, Navy SEALs, Apache helicopters, boots on the ground to find out what happened. The Greek government doesn't prosecute the killers. They get off on $500 bail. And they get to go back home to their Eastern European country. I think it's like it's Czechoslovakia or Slovenia, Ukraine, somewhere like that. No justice for Bakari Henderson. But you got Negroes who are planning mega trips. We go melon and pop all over Greece, fist in the air. We are going to, melon is going to be popping all over Greece, all over. Melanin dripping. We're going to be dripping melanin everywhere in Greece. Melanin dripping, popping. Black girl magic. We black and we got passports. Popping melanin all over Greece. But damn it, if you go to that Starbucks around the corner from your house, you are the devil. You are a coon. How dare you support Starbucks? But the Greece government, the U.S. government, you give a damn about Bakari Henderson or the brother in China, who I'm going to look up. But you want a melanin pop at the Great Wall. Melanin pop. You want a melanin dripping, black girl magic, black man magic. In Greece and China, where Greece has shown you how they feel about black people, black Americans. Where China has showed you how they feel about black Americans. Because you got a brother right now in jail in China who was an ambassador. To come over there and teach Chinese kids how to play football. Who gets into who is defending himself, gets into a scuffle at a Chinese bar. His ass has been in jail for a year and a half. If you I'm, I'm going to bring the guy who's helping out the brother. In fact, let me get his name. I'm going to bring him on the show. I'm going to reach out to him and try to get him on the show. I mean, they were talking about it was to the point where they were supposed to meet U.S. senators. In regards to his case, all of them canceled last minute. The Chinese government has this guy locked up in, in prison. But y'all talking about some, I'm a melanin pop, melanin drip on the Great Wall, Shanghai, melanin popping, dripping, black girl magic. I'm going to let Asian women, random Asian women come and touch my hair. Because I, I, I enjoy being a tourist attraction. I go to China to see the Great Wall and Melanin Pop 
and, and see the tourist attraction attraction. But instead, I would much rather allow them to touch my hair because you guys swear you defend this this nonsense. You swear that Chinese people have never seen black people before, but you have videos of Chinese people running around in blackface. You have videos of Africans who were living in China and they talk about how they're discriminated against. You got the situation with the brother in China who's locked up. But you swear that you're special and that Chinese have never seen black hair and you allow them to touch your hair. Dirty hands, no hand sanitizer. You allow them just to stroke your hair, stroke, stroke your ego. I don't know if you're just uh, uh, insecure. I don't know what it is. But when I see that shit, I'm like, come on, it's embarrassing. Melanin pop, black girl magic. Window Brown, that's his name. Thank you, Internet. Window Brown. Look up Window Brown. So you got the situation with Window Brown. You got the situation with Bakari Henderson. But y'all are lining up, melanin popping in Greece and in China to this day. But you're pro-black. You're about black issues. And but damn it, if we even mention, let's go to Ghana. You guys, the, the pro black just disappears. Oh, man, do I got to get a million shots. Are the lions going to come get me at the airport? Am I going to get malaria and Ebola? Oh, oh is it safe? I mean, I just, oh, oh, I mean, it's, it's every, every excuse on the planet. You did claim you're conscious. Hands up, don't shoot. Boycott Starbucks and Waffle House because they don't like black folks. But then the Greek government, Chinese government has shown you how they feel about black people, unless you play sports. Now, just like everyone else, if you're black and you can dunk a ball, run a ball, kick a ball, or if you can rap, they'll love you then. But the average black person like yourself, they've proven and showed you how they feel about you via Bakari Henderson, example, Bakari Henderson, example, Wendell Brown. But you still want a melanin pop and drip in China and Greece. And they claim that you're pro-black. And I got a passport and I can fly first class. I don't know. I just had that. I mean, am I, am I, I mean, you got, am I off point? Am I on point in the chat room? What's your thoughts? I'm just saying. Then you're getting dragged in the, the Korean nail salon, a Korean um, beauty supply store, getting literally dragged around. You had a situation where the sister here in uh, Atlanta, employee at a Chinese restaurant or somewhere, employee, the boss punches her for refunding somebody. But damn it, you just got a melanin and pop in Greece. I'm just saying. Guys, get the likes up. Hit the like button. And my thing is, yeah, Information Man Show, you got to, in fact, Information Man Show, if you want to, um, me and you can speak on the Bakari Henderson situation if you want to do a show together, me and you. I could come on your platform. We can, um, we can speak on that together. Shout out to the chat room. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, this, these are the excuses they use. The reason why Chinese people are coming and running fingers through my hair, no hand sanitizer, dirty hairs. It's OK because they never seen black people before. But meanwhile, black Chinese people are running around China 
in blackface. In Greece, it's the brother um, uh, Bakari, Bakari Henderson, right? Information, Infor information man show. That's his name, Bakari Henderson, right? Nah, the brother was young, man. Cynthia G's wrong on that. The brother was young. Brother's only like 21 years old. I don't I don't agree with that. Cynthia G was wrong for that. The brother was just too young. But I mean, he had no black friends. I mean, you saw all his pictures. He had no black friends. And you, you know, you, you I don't know. I mean, I'm not I'm not going to I mean, a brother's passed away. It's unfortunate. I think it's a lesson learned. Uh, but I, I guarantee Bakar was probably one of these brothers. There's no racism. You know, I don't see color. You know, he was he and, and that's so dangerous because obviously that night in Greece, them um, Eastern Europeans, they saw color and he was taking a picture with a, a white woman in Greece at a bar and them Eastern Europeans got upset and took his life away. And it was strictly because of his color. I mean, let's just keep it real. And his white friends, yeah, didn't do nothing, didn't help him out at all. His white friends were not there to defend him. And, and and that's why that type of thought that, you know, I have, you know, I get white draws. I have white friends, a ton of white friends. I don't see color. There's no racism. It's dangerous. And then when it went down, his white friends were nowhere to be found. Now the brothers passed away. But, you know, it's unfortunate. But yeah, man, I just wanted to um I just wanted to just to, to cover that today. I won't be on here long. I'll be back on later on tonight. So, you know, again, what happened to the brothers is unfortunate. But I'm shocked that the pro black let's boycott Waffle House and Black Friday and you know, circulate your money in your own neighborhood and you know, black dollars, spin black dollars, buy black, buy black, black owned, black owned. You know, uh, we need reform in the, the prison system. The prison system needs to be reformed. We need to stop systematic racism. Travel to places, go out of the way, spend thousands of dollars to travel to places where systematic racism isn't is in full effect where black people are discriminated against completely where black people are discriminated against and get no justice they'll they have no problem traveling to those places no problem yeah so and that's and, I, and i'm gonna do another video on that in fact i'm gonna hook up with information man show we'll, we'll do a video on that because Otto Rambier, and then there was the girl, uh, the white girl that was killed in the Caribbean a couple of years ago. Guys, help me out. And then there was the European girl, the e girl from England who was killed in Greece or Italy a couple of years ago. Help me out, somebody. I forgot the names. But this was on front page news. I mean, they were following these cases every day, updates every day. They demanded justice. I mean, they kept a magnifying magnifying glass. Uh, Natalie Holloway. They were on these cases. Then what happened? I know the one the case in Italy. They had blamed the white girl 
for killing her. Then they let her go and arrested a black guy. And same thing in um, the case in the Caribbean. They arrested the black guy. Meredith Kircher. But then remember, it was a black American woman. Was it Vander Sloot? Was that her name? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was a white American woman, a white American who they said did it, let her go, but then locked up the black guy. And same thing in the Caribbean. So when something happens to white people overseas who are traveling, who are tourists, it makes international news. The media is covering it. The shit is on news every day. What's going on? Amanda Knox, what's going on? We need justice for this family. We need this to happen. God, we need to arrest these people. God, oh my God, you got everybody on TV crying every day, every day to the case is solved. But in the situation with Bakari Henderson, it's just like, ah, damn. All right, who did it? The Eastern European guys, the white guys from Eastern European, the, the white guys from Eastern Europe. All right, give them $500 bail, let them go home. But where's the media? Where's the news outlets? For, I mean, Bakari Henderson, American, right? Why aren't boots on the ground? Where's the investigators? Why isn't, um, you know, our uh, diplomats calling out Greece for letting these killers go? Why isn't Greece being held accountable? Pretty much their, I guess, system, justice system. Okay, ensures that black people don't get justice, similar to the one here in America. But the same people who complain about the justice system here in America, how it discriminates against people of color, will go out of their way to go all the way to Greece so they melanin, melanin can pop in Greece, in Athens. But anyways, everybody, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, make sure you go to search for Uhuru on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and Facebook. Also go to Africa Personified on those same platforms. Go to Africa Personified on Africa. Go to search for Hoover.com. Go to DynastyMirror.com and go to Amazon.com. Search your name, Dynasty Mirror, and please buy a book. Till next time, uh, which will be later on tonight. Peace.